My name is Gordon Dow. I'm an infectious disease consultant at the Moncton Hospital. I've been working here since 1995. It's been a real privilege for me to work here uh, because this hospital had the first infectious disease program in New Brunswick. As part of this program, one of the things that uh, has developed here is a research program. And this research initially was directed at HIV care. So we began uh, attracting studies looking at new antiretroviral drugs for the treatment of HIV. And we have seen uh, HIV uh, during this period of time go from an untreatable disease uh, to now we have a very treatable disease uh, thanks to a lot of that research. So this was life-saving research. It brought drugs to New Brunswickers that they otherwise wouldn't have had access to. My name is Dr. Dan Spife and I'm an infectious disease uh, physician at the Moncton Hospital and director of uh, research for the RECAP program. Uh, much of our research efforts over the last two years have been centered around the clinical care of patients with uh, chronic hepatitis C infection. In the spring of 2014, uh, we debuted our uh, hepatitis C uh, infected and at-risk database, our HERE database, which is a uh, treatment registry tool for all patients uh, seen in the clinics within Horizon. Uh, the registry has seen over 350 patients enrolled in the last uh, 12 months alone. It's a very uh, agile evaluation tool that uh, allows us to um, ensure that we're providing good therapy to patients, uh, to ensure that the money we spend on these drugs is well spent, and has uh, formed a research platform for many uh, collaborations within our own province, uh, within Atlantic Canada, uh, and nationally. When you look at research funding in New Brunswick, um, I would say that we definitely need to uh, bring more money in. The money that comes into Canada for research, much of it gets distributed to central Canada and the West, and I would say Atlantic Canada uh, is not receiving its due share of research. And I think that uh, this is a fabulous environment for encouraging more research, and we're very, very pleased with the support we're getting to help uh, foster more research and um, investment in Eastern Canada.